<laughs> Robin. Big Mama Prods in studio. Patrice O'Neill. Oh, yeah. Good and uh, his girl tweeting like a motherfucker. Don't Promoting that. What, 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 you got the wrong, man. You got the wrong mic on. Oh, Jimmy's mic. You want that one? It's the one I use. Yeah. All, right, all right, hold on. Man. That one will just be left there like the can't silent be, you mic. You can't be giving out fucking... Reports like that? You can't just say that out loud? Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm saying it because you, you got a gag order on your life. I can't. You're just announcing. I, I'm saying that she's promoting your ass. That's good. There's it's all kind of evil people that don't know that shit. <laughs> all, right, I won't, all right. I won't say the name. Really? Thank you. No, don't, no I wasn't going to say the name. Does it matter? I got, I, <laughs> <laughs> one bitch is tweeting things. They're like, uh, she, uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, well... Uh, how about this? The big uh, comedy special tomorrow on Comedy Central. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm just hoping to be Everyone's elevated. Getting... Not not yes. up to the rarefied atmosphere, as said in Layer Cake, but just... Uh... <laughs> all, all I'm saying is everyone is uh, help, helping promote. Thank you. All right, 10 o'clock tomorrow night on Comedy Central. Elephant in the room, man. The, this special is great. I had the pleasure of seeing this uh, in advance. Ooh, in my theater. You are... Uh, really, you watch me in, a, in the oh, giant... On, a, on an 11-foot screen, motherfucker. <laughs> I must apologize for my teeth. I, uh... <laughs> I, I, I really didn't. I didn't think I would get to a point where I thought I needed to fix my teeth, and it's just... Why? What's wrong with your teeth? They, they're just, uh... Like, cause I said teeth, but and I wanted to say teeth, but it's just not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that fucking not special is great. I was, uh, I had a tweet in the first five minutes. I was laughing my balls off. First five minutes, it's Thank just you. strong, and it stays that way the whole fucking uh, show. Funny shit. You're you're dealing out shit to people that, and they have no idea what to do. But it's it's fucking um, it's like endearing. Like you're not. You're pissing women off. You're pissing some bitches off in that audience. But the guys are howling, laughing. I'm and laughing, the girls are I'm laughing. laughing all... I, I've seen it. I've, I'm going to be honest. I'm going I'm to I'm actually plug something. Yeah. Like, plug, plug. I've I've done a lot of shit. I never watch. what I, I get, At some point, I get sick <laughs> watching <laughs> myself do something. I watch this because I was editing it also. Uh -huh. I watch this every time. And I watch it. As a fan of watching it, then I, I got to step out and go, oh shit, that's me. Yeah, it, I'm I'm on top of my game on the special. Absolutely, I, I, I feel like I am. I I feel it's just the right amount of um, cutesy horseshit. Right. Uh, and just the right amount of cutesy what I horseshit. what I do. You know, I try to, you know, because it is Comedy Central. Yeah. And uh, you know they, but there's a girl named uh, Joanne. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but it's, I think it's Gr Gr Grugioni. <laughs> I think how you say you pronounce it, but she's been as a as a uh executive very 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 uh i have to give her credit man yeah because she she hasn't been a douche she's been very all, and that's pushing. all they have to do is not be a douche isn't that fucked well up? she hasn't <laughs> been don't be a douche she's been you're great very she's been very good about this because I, I think she's she's a fan you know she likes my comedy mm -hmm. and she wants to see I, I, you know, because we talk a lot, and I trash a lot of comics to her, <laughs> and I trash a lot of people that Comedy Central push, <laughs> and you know, so I'm like, what about this one? And she, if she thinks she, they're funny, she'll have that. You know, we have a good rapport. She's not yeah. like acting like an act, like a little punk. She's all right, man, and she don't let me scream at her and shit. And, yeah, and I like her. So she, what she did was, uh, I gave her the first like draft of what I was gonna do, but I was doing it in the clubs, and I, it was a, it was in a. It was in bananas, right? At like, <laughs> oh shit, at, at like midnight. <laughs> so I had to be funny and do the special, but I had to be funny in front of these fucking working class people oh, in Poughkeepsie shit. that have they, they don't want to hear about my fucking that my <laughs> I'm working out my special. Yeah. So I had to be like really horrible. But Joanne fished through the shit and was like, "This is hilarious. So let's figure it yeah. out." <clears throat> and and even the only thing that um. Standards and practices did that bothered me is um they let you say a lot of shit so I didn't really like they came you can't say fuck you can't I want can't say pussy yeah, right. but there's a lot of context like right there was one thing but they kind of fixed it where you I, they I was doing a bit about you know going 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 in you know raw right right and they they like well they bleep raw. So I'm like, well, raw is, you well, know, this is pretty vague. And they said, don't say stick it in. So I didn't say stick it in. Uh, You'll see me fucking seriously 
uh, thinking sometimes in the special, uh -huh. or a little bobbling, because I'm getting ready to say, ah, f f <laughs> fucking <laughs> ass sheets. Right, right, right. And some I just can't change it. <laughs> but, you know, all in all, man, I'm proud of it. But, you know, some fucking club owner in Houston, not club owner, but... I, he's a cool guy, but I'm I'm like, remember that ice storm that was recently? Yeah, how was that ice storm in Houston? You fucking cock, look at you. You flew at the worst time possible. Well, these motherfuckers yeah. in Houston, here's what killed me. Houston shut down that weekend. Yeah. The, out, people came out to see me. I was very happy with Houston, man. But people came out to see me, despite the fact that Houston shut down. Mm -hmm. For the threat, the idea that. Two inches of snow is coming. <laughs> right. Well, that's how it is down. But, in it, did, but it didn't They're fucking happen. Right. But the idea of it shut down. It freaks out people. Cabs, everything. Sure. So I'm saying, Echo, I called him the day before this ice storm. I called him and said, man, this this is, you know, trees were, were, were glistening. It looked like glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look like like an old things ice were storm. in glass. Which means that shit's coming down so on I'm cars like, and like, yeah, power lines. and. Damn. People's heads. I said, listen, like, can I reschedule? I said, my special. I said, listen, I thought it was an actual good. I go, my special is coming out, right? Let's reschedule for after. Then we can get, get, probably get more people in the club. Yeah. He goes. Smart move. He goes, nah. Why it, Why in that? Specials mean nothing. Because to him, it's he just. He didn't say that, uh, did he? Abso-fucking. He actually said specials mean quote, nothing. Quote, end quote. Quote, end quote. See, that's that's because, that special hold on, hold on, means hold on. nothing. That's yeah. because too many uh, too many guys are getting specials. He said Chelsea. He says Chelsea Handler means more. Like I go, okay, that's great, but it it just fucked my self esteem up. Yeah, because uh, like, uh, it makes me go, how can I be excited about this fucking thing? Yeah, yeah, but the what problem, the, but the problem is he's sort of right. Let me explain. There's a lot of guys getting specials that don't. I mean, I'll I'll turn on Comedy Central. I'm not gonna call out anybody. And and you say you see somebody you go. Oh, I'm gonna check out this guy. And it sucks. The specials <laughs> suck. But yours is is way better than that. You're not in but their league. But but, but unfortunately, unfortunately, through, hold on. Unfortunately, know. this guy has lumped you in that whole fucking league. That's the problem, right? So, what, the, you know, why wouldn't they though? Yeah. That's what I'm, that's that's what makes what I'm me, saying. You know, that's what I'm saying. So he's sort of right, unfortunately. As much as you want to get mad at him, but I mean, with that said, this special is going to do very well for you and Comedy Central. The beginning's cool. You look all badass in that slow motion shit. There's a douche Where you're chill all like moment, just, motherfucker. There's a douche chill yeah. moment in that in that fucking beginning. Really? Which my my I have to give my credit to my woman. She actually wrote the music. Dude. Really? Yeah, she did the music because they was asking me all kind of shit. What do you want? I said, "Fuck it." My girl writes music. Give Damn. me a shot. I, she, wait, know. she actually wrote the music. She didn't pick the any, song. Any music that's on there is just she wrote it. Oh, she you wrote, wrote it. She produced it. You are fucked wait. if you break up. <laughs> wait, <laughs> more than wrote it. She uh, composed, you know, produced wow. it. Whatever. What? Just she's her, a, her song. She, she's a musician. Yeah. I, didn't, I never knew that. Yeah, she plays guitar cool, and shit. Man. That's she's, pretty cool. She, she works hard. Because the song is... God damn, the yeah. The song, the music's really good. So, What's the douche chill moment? I, when I look up, my hat's down and I look up like... Hey. It, it just made my stomach turn. <laughs> and, and, but everybody vetoed good. me and said, oh, that's cool as shit. Yeah, but yeah, I'm like... It plays good. <laughs> for you to look at it, you can't you can't step out of yourself it's, and look at it. But that's but the only douche chill moment I had. It though. looks pimp. You look fucking pimp on that. It's It's slow motion... And you got your fucking sharp hat on and shit. It works. They, it definitely they, they, works. They did. And and the thing is, I never wanted to do one of those um, do-it-yourselfers. Yeah. And some people do <laughs> a do-it-yourselfer do and it works out well. I think Little Kev did a do-it-yourselfer and it was big. And yeah. Cat Williams did a do-it-yourselfer. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many do-it-yourselfers work out. <laughs> yeah. But Comedy Central paid for this shit. So <laughs> yeah. I, it's a I'm easier. hoping that they trying to get their investment back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, no, it looks it looks good. It's funny as fuck, man. Really funny. I and I've seen you c quite a few times in the clubs and stuff and uh I mean still when you're telling a story right when you think you know where that fucker's going, you'll say two words. That just take it in another hilarious direction. Like, it's not expected. No one expects you to say it. You say it, it's like, oh, fuck. You absolutely assumed you were going somewhere. You go somewhere else, and it's fucking hysterical. Yeah. Really good. I, really good. I, I was at the taping, too. The women were enjoying it as well. Yeah. They yeah, really I was, were. I was, there's a way, I've been doing this shit for years. There's, there's ways where I can attack women. And divide I, the yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I've seen you. I've seen you vicious. This one wasn't as vicious. 
It, not only the material was vicious. And, uh, yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, not, not, not my not, attitude. I, I, get, not I put some attitude. cherry flavor yeah. in a little bit of it. Right, you, you, you softened it up a little bit. Just a little so bit. They could, so they could digest it. But Absolutely. This was stuff that you can't get by. <laughs> like, <laughs> women just don't like anything that has to do with cheating. I, right, right. But you know what? They don't want to hear it. They didn't want to laugh, but you, you made them laugh. That's, yep. that's important. And they were fucking laughing that day, man. <laughs> they were, they was, uh, you, you know. Lo- how much weight did you lose fucking doing the special? I saw you backstage and you were drenched from the lights and the whole fucking thing. Plus you had the hot jacket on. Yeah, that wasn't too bad though. I know, I, I ended up. Like, how do you guys deal with that? Do you fucking just have two well, you outfits? Have a, you have a to- yeah, you have to always bring two outfits. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, you have those towels on stage and, and I don't move much. Do they use most of it from the uh, the first show, or do they uh, mix and match? No. See, that's what people the, don't understand. Your, a lot of the show you was at. Yeah. There's a piece of it. That's it. The, the second one yeah, was the, the one. Sec- the second one was the and one. The first one was all right, man. The second, the first one was great. I wanted to use the first one. Really? Because it was a lot more of what I wanted. Because I always like to put across that you don't have to like have be funny every second of your. Yeah, yeah, time on stage, you know. Exactly. So it was a lot of good moments, uh, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of good audience moments, and well, but they 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 put the sec the second one is the prevalent one, and and it's only one thing they use from the first. Wow. One, and then it's wow, the whole yeah. it's the whole second. I remember we were all talking. You going look now? Go out there for the second show and just have fun because you nailed it. And, well, and, that's and now I did, turns, a lot, I did a lot of cursing in the second show because uh, I thought uh, I had uh, the first. Uh, yeah, and now it turns out they didn't even use m- most of the first. That's unbelievable. Uh, this it, fucking thing's gonna the go first well, has man. some. Um, the first has some. Uh, uh, some behind the scenes. I put I put some extras from the first. show. The extras on the DVD are hysterical, and you lay into that fucking chick in the in I'm the surprised back. they let That's me put that. Show. Oh, is that great? I put a boot in her <laughs> stupidity. Oh. And, her, and that guy she was with she yeah. have to, tweeted me. Did and he? says, dude, she's exactly how... <laughs> you represented her? <laughs> yeah. Did you have to get her to sign something? Everybody signed something. That, w- that but, was on but camera? But it was so egregiously attacking her <laughs> that... <laughs> she, she didn't know what she was signing. She, no, they, well, you come in, they have the thing, no. this is a TV taping, but... People who were who were kind of featured, they wanted to get the sign. Yeah, she yeah. almost didn't sign, but she was they shell-shocked. still could have used her that whole thing. Because yeah. you you are you are the property of this thing when you yeah, come in. Yeah, once you walk in, really, I guess they just do that for extra protection. Uh, and it's and she could have been on it. I want. I actually was pushing for that part because it was just somehow I found her face. Everybody was having a good time, and she just had that uh, ultra not having a good time face. Right, right. And um, so the kid goes, the kid she was with goes, I go, you guys, you know, you guys together? Or you? And she, he goes, look at, look at her. And I go, oh, okay. So the crowd went, ooh. He said it wrong. He should have been like, look at me. Look at he me. Thought yeah, yeah. He was trying to say she's so much better than him, and I right. was like. I think she got a funny shaped head. I thought <laughs> I thought you meant you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a good-looking kid. Like. And and then we explain it, but then it's like I'm just he, he's trying to friend zone his way into some ass. Uh huh. And 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 then I go off, but it, it's in the it's in the extras, man. Yeah. And they and they took care of me with the DVD. I'm looking at it for the first time. Like, oh really? Um, it it I envisioned it differently, but I'm I'll take this because really? usually comedy CDs are a horseshit. Uh, it's yeah. it's wrapped. It's in that special. Uh, it's in a in a cardboard slide in. So the actual DVD, a sleeve, you have right? to a sleeve. You have to slide it out. It, it feels and it, then cut it. It feels like a real DVD. It, it's DVD ish. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. It is. They hooked me up. It, you know what? I still had a different thing. I wanted. I wanted to move it in my face it's, and I do a dance. You know, I got, I got the social networking DVD at home and it's the same packaging. So it, it's it's I'm it's the, they packaged it the right way. I'm properly. very Not happy goofy. with uh, the picture Comedy Central. I'm very happy with the special. I'm very happy with the well, fucking people that did it. I'm excited. I just hope people you well, know we get gotta, a chance yeah. to watch it. Well, tomorrow night at ten o'clock on Comedy Central, we all got to tweet the hell out of this. Let's let's push this, man. Yeah, definitely. You should tweet during the the special, maybe. I probably won't watch it. Oh, really? I probably just kind of. I'll just sit around like in a in a in a <laughs> in the fetal position, yeah, just right. like <laughs> you ever, hoping yeah, I don't right. have to get on a plane to Albany. You ever? Year. 
You ever, when uh, you're on TV, you kind of pace around your apartment and just keep looking at the clock and go, okay, I'm on right this second. All right, all right, now it's 12.35. Okay, it's safe to watch TV again. Yeah, <laughs> it's safe to watch yep. TV. Yeah. And then you sit around, but it's happened to me. You kind of just walk around, like, knowing you're on and a lot of eyes are watching you and you just don't want to deal with that. I've, and then I've it feels way better when you know you're finally off the TV. I've never had a moment where, like, I don't know what to, I don't, I really want this thing to push push yeah, it yeah. forward but i've <laughs> i've done a million things <laughs> that after it's on you just you go okay now now how, what now, now what? how does famous happen yeah, yeah. <laughs> now what happens yeah, somebody calls when, you and when, say you're famous yeah, shouldn't the phone start ringing right about now <laughs> when does famous happen what, does it happen like right after or? When, when, do, when do you realize that fame's not happening like three days later and holy the phone's still, the phone's shit. still not ringing when you're walking around and nobody says i saw you last night when you're going to marshall's uh, and no one gives a shit will you will you walk around sunday hoping that people like just uh go, uh, well, I, got, I need a bodyguard to go to church Let, it's like, yeah. no. Are you going to make believe you just have errands to do and, and but, just kind of get I've a feel? But I've seen it happen to Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Yeah. His special came on and, and boom. kaboom. I've seen it happen to Ron White. Really? It's happening to Whitney Wait, Cummins. Are those uh, Comedy Central yeah, yeah. specials, though? Mm. The Ron, biggest Ron Comedy White? Central yeah. buzz I've, I've ever heard. Yeah, thank you. That's what I was going to ask. Was... Uh, who got pushed way forward because of a Comedy Central I, special? I would I would say Joe Coy. Okay. I would say Mike Birbiglia's special pushed him forward. Okay. Um, I yeah. don't know about Billy. Billy's kind of like me in a sense. Bill, I think Billy has a lot a lot more followers. I think, but mm. I think Billy has a a, a body of work. So he's yeah. like he's in there. But I don't know if Billy had a pop special. I'm not sure. Um, Charlie Murphy had one. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy <laughs> popped on Dave Chappelle and then he popped in the special. But Joe yeah. Coy, if you say somebody that went from you, you zero said to it, 60. You said it pushed forward. Is Joe Coy, I Joe think. Coy. And then Mike Babiglia got a following. All right. So you're going to be the next one. This has you to know. work for you, man. <laughs> Look at the watch. This, uh, yeah, you, I'm, just, I'm serious, happen? dude. I'm really. This has to happen for you because you. you and I'm never like that. You had to come out of retirement uh, a, a mere three weeks into it. <laughs> I was talking to Patrice the other day. I was in a cab. I said, you know, I fucking got to catch up with Patrice. It's like, Dad, dude, I'm out of retirement. I'm like, how can you be out of retirement? You're just, you've, you've been in it for three he, weeks. He, he miscalculated. You I mis miscalculated. miscalculated. I after thought three I had enough weeks. money to quit for the rest of my life. And you figured out after three weeks you don't. <laughs> Most people figure that out. <laughs> a couple of years of sailing around the world. Yeah, like, and you go, oh, I think fuck, I, I just ran out of my money. I miscalculated three my weeks, retirement. Package. Three weeks you, of sitting at You home. didn't even get to sail or nothing. I, what I, do you uh, do in retirement, by the way? Oh. You were officially retired, so what'd you do? Some people take up golf, like Ann says, well, some sail the fucking world or the Caribbean. Can I, can I, can I, can you I take a road trip? What'd you do? Can I please apologize to anybody <laughs> who works a, a slave driving type of job where, <laughs> oh, shit. where, I'm serious, anybody who works a job where they, they cannot be depressed and take off enough time to get, get their okay. fucking spirit back. One of those jobs you take one day off and your whole life falls apart. Dude, you're like, oh, fuck, I can't that pay worked for through now. what I felt. Right. I yeah. just was tired of living yeah. for four months, dude. I'm telling you. And I took that time off and uh, I ate a lot better because I wasn't on the road. Right. So I just was drinking fruit juice and I mean, uh, uh, vegetable juice and eating good food and cooking and chilling out, watching my ceiling fan, playing with my <laughs> iPad, playing Angry Birds, getting three stars <laughs> on Angry Birds, every level, motherfucker. I'm, uh, I'm in know, that club, brother. Boom, just playing and, and just And imagine boom. having to go through that, but you have to go but to a job. To go every, to work. you have to go so to I, work. So if I ever disrespected anybody who works, I, I, <laughs> because <laughs> I, was, I was really shut in, closed the door, me and my dogs depressed. Just because oh, dogs, you know, you just kind of, they just are what you are. So, so I slept all day. You. They slept all day. <laughs> <And> <laughs> really? Feed them out of a can with a spoon. I, I, You're eating out of a can with a spoon. <laughs> if you saw me on Christmas, my mother came up, thank God. But if you saw me on Christmas and they filmed me on Christmas, you would have you cried for me. <laughs> what oh, happened? I, I'm telling you, it was like a scene maybe from Taxi Driver. Really? I'm fucking just... Paint the picture, brother. A goddamn orange, um, 
empty. Okay, uh, where you buy, you know, there's this certain kind of juice that when you open it, you have to take a little plastic piece off and flip it. It they were all over the ground, <laughs> just just these round things that you take off of uh, orange uh, juice orange top juice rings, juice yeah. top rings yeah. all over the fucking ground. Uh, sneakers on the couch, the 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 shade open all day all night. The shade is open. Didn't take the dogs out. They just went on the fucking on my balcony and they were shitting all over the balcony. <laughs> it took me a minute to fucking clean that up. Uh, a couple of snowstorms later, I finally got to clean my balcony. Uh, uh, fucking, my girl cleaned my house one day, and uh, she goes, "How did how did you, how did piss get behind the toilet? Like behind the toilet?" I go, "I don't know. I just would get up sad and and uh, you know, I was just feeling care. sorry for my. I was peeing on the wall, I guess. It's like, I, I would pee care. until I heard water." <laughs> <laughs> that middle of the night pee. Yeah, and just and when I heard water, I peed. I just went in there. It was, uh, you know, uh, didn't change the sheets. I'm telling you, I just. fucking, I, Houston, I came out of, out of retirement in Houston. Saturday, got the people got the best show, but I never try to give a bad show. But Saturday, I felt good. I actually go, okay, I could do comedy again. Yeah. But I think it was all anxiety. It was uh, sadness. It was, it was a lot of feeling sorry for myself. And yeah. but I started going, man. I I had to come to the conclusion I'm depressed. I was like, I'm depressed. Yeah, yeah obviously that I'm was fucking that's a mess. Being depressed, diabetic. My head. I was walking down the stairs, and you know I used to run downstairs. Like you, you know, to be in fear is sucks. Uh, uh, like I'm I'm tipping toe down the stairs, going, oh, whoopsie, oh boy, oh if I fall, I'm oh gonna, shit, something's gonna happen bad. <laughs> so I'm walking down the stairs like an old bitch. God I need damn. the fucking life alert bracelet, and shit, because <laughs> I'm I'm f- fucking just what the fuck. Dude? I'm telling you, I just got depressed, man. I just got horribly sad. But you know where it came from. It just like, it came from um cause I, some people it just comes out of nowhere and they're like ah and they gotta go through therapy to find out where it is after you I did my have special on where after I, after my special I just didn't um I didn't I was like okay I'm done I tell you what it is I start thinking about mm. the past and I've yeah. done I've done a Showtime special I've done uh, countless TV shows a few movies <clears throat> HBO which was the biggie a half hour HBO still to this day, I mean, no offense to Comedy Central, but if you talk to yeah, yeah. any comic, the cachet of doing an HBO That's the one hour or half hour, goal, right? it just is what it is. I, I mean, you can't, you yeah. know, let's be honest, That's you know, goal. but no offense to Comedy Central, but it is what it sure. is. And uh, uh, and I did a, a Comedy Central special, F- countless little five minutes on this show and that. No. Mm-hmm. And I've never been able to really close out some material. So it's always like it closes out for me, but I never <clears throat> I started, you know, what it was I started uh, the depression came from. I started having a talk with God. Like, what am I going to give me a fucking break, guy? Oh, shit. Like, for real, like I need a break because for real, I was listening to this Brooke Shields interview last night. I was listening to two things last night. I always, you know, on the iPad, some, some shit we was talking about, some racial shit we was talking about. And then <laughs> Brooke Shields. He's just on North Standing. I said, why is this bitch saying this shit? Oh, <laughs> she right. don't know me. <laughs> right, right, right. We right, met right, on right, the right. motherfucking show. <laughs> you talked for an hour. A total of an hour. Like, too. Like, she's oh, like, oh, yes, yeah, he's destructive. But that's that's why my shit's fucked up. Because people, because Brooke, Brooke sized me the fuck up oh, shit. as a my own worst enemy. Like, And she really feels like she knows you. Even but, though she you know hasn't why? spent a lot of she time with you. And this is not a trash in her because I like the lady. Because mm. she doesn't get to know. Be, that's the fucking phoniness of Hollywood. Hollywood. And I, when I'm acting like an asshole, I'm trying to keep me from being an ass. I'm hiding. <laughs> You're hiding. But she kept pressing. <laughs> right? So people are sitting around like it's a goddamn f- Indian storytelling time, right? <laughs> in when TV. she's. This is what she's talking about the, the first five days I'm on set. And everybody's like, oh my goodness, Brooke. Is. I'm doing the pepper lemon cleanse. And people are like, who 
<laughs> you know, oh, no. the pepper lemon. Oh, I heard. And I'm sitting in the corner going, yeah, you... this horse shit <laughs> hit my head. Yeah. It's looking like you a fat ogre, like... right? But, but <laughs> an angry Shrek, not a nice Shrek. But you're trying to keep it together because you know if you say anything, it's I... not going to be good for you or your career. So, But she read the energy. See, what she was right about oh. was my energy of distance, right? Right, right. Which, which ultimately is destruction. You're not going to jump in and be like, so the lemon does. Yeah, it's just, I, it's just, I'll end up making myself look bad. But she ends up pressing and finally going, I'm sure Patrice is very interested in this. So I go, uh -huh. oh, okay. Everybody's around directors. I go, uh, yes, Brooke, I've been interested in your shits since suddenly Susan. So you couldn't, <laughs> so you couldn't help yourself. How, how is that going to help your career? But <laughs> that, that, that is you? what, that turned her. <laughs> right. Then we're best friends. And all the people are like, he's an asshole. Can't say it no more. Yeah. But that's Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's that's why I was mad at this whole Mel Gibson off of uh, uh, uh what's you called two. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the movie he was supposed to do and they threw him off. The yeah, uh, Hangover two. Hangover yeah. two. Because I know Hollywood. People in Hollywood don't make their own decisions. No. No one. No camera guy and grip girl makes a decision to stand up to Mel Gibson unless someone gives them, you know. A power to do so. Right. So, so ultimately, to go back to the to the original story I'm telling, it's like, look, I I just have expectations for this, mm -hmm. and I I guess my my depression was, what am I going to do after comedy? What has oh, comedy man. taught me that I could do something else other than comedy? If this doesn't help, it's fucking. It's if that's what. If it this doesn't help, I'm like, what can I? But that's the it's, great mystery. It's not a mystery. But that's what we talked about. It's radio. If these <laughs> fucking guys would wake up, it used to be a great, great radio host. I'm tired of the grind. Yeah. Cause I have. It's like you know what it is. I'm a. I'm. I feel like uh, sometimes, and this, I'm not boohooing, but listen. I chose what I chose. You chose what you chose, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's out there that's breaking a knuckle and they go, what the <laughs> fuck is he talking about? It's like, hey, man, I chose what I chose. So you can be sad if you want to. And I know I never feel sorry for myself, but I go, I like to close out material. That's it. it it's like, you know, like uh, during during my first, the, my Comedy Central special, <clears throat> I was doing all of that 9-11 uh, shit. Uh -huh. Really good 9-11 shit. Uh, and, and I was doing the... Pepsi Cola Rapist at that time, right? Yeah. <laughs> which was one of my biggies. So I, would, yeah, I was like, one. damn, I would have loved to just each level get to ride a wave of popularity based on based some on shit that. That, I, that I did. But I never got to do that. So I'm thinking if this in, 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 in proper form, if this just goes, yay, it's out and, you know, whatever I go, I go, I can't take getting on a plane again oh my, God. my feet swelling so up starting to think about i'm it. in a fucking hotel and then you go out and you your your audience isn't there because right now i'm 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 very viable in about seven cities mm -hmm. and i get the same people so it's pressure another thing that's pressure on me is that I put myself in a position to have to always have some new shit. Yeah, a little bit of same not people new. showing up. Right, and I'm not like uh, you know I I do audience work and and all that shit. Yeah. So I have to have some energy, man. So it's like about seven cities they really take care of me. But then you go to a place and it's you know I said Albany, nothing against Albany, but I went there and it was five people in the audience. But at you one don't point. Think, I'm like, what the fuck? But you don't think? Uh, let's say you know you you pop to the next level. You don't think there's a grind there that is exactly the same as this one, only different? Welcome to the layer cake, son. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, not the rarefy atmosphere, but I would take just to take but, a little less shit. Uh, yeah, but a if little it, less shit. If the grind means uh, performing in front of a lot more people, then it, then it makes it a little more bearable. It I makes assume, it better too. because I look at if you, you walk into a, if you're walking into arenas like Dane Cook has been doing the last few years, it makes it a little you easier. You don't think that he sits grind. there and goes like motherfucker? Oh, I'm sure no matter what you do, uh, there's a grind bus. to it. But if all of a sudden you're getting uh, off a fucking private plane and you're getting in a car and jumping right to the arena and there's fifteen thousand people, it makes it a little easier <clears> than some of these clubs that you think you're doing well in and there's no one there, like you said about Albany. And I, I mean, I'm not an average guy. Though. I'm not like some guy that's chasing glory. I just uh -huh. want to be able to walk anywhere. And because I you just want I, a little push forward. I thought I'm thinking to myself, here's what it is. It's like, how can anybody not know me who follows comedy? Uh huh. But I, I looked at the thing where Norton was getting got to Jesse Ventura when he was when he was blasting Jesse Ventura. Yeah. 
900,000 people saw that video. 800,000 was like, who's this little asshole talking to Jesse? <laughs> they still think it's, it's either me or it. They don't know. They didn't yeah. know Norton. No, so I'm they, sitting there going, there's 800,000 motherfuckers yeah. going, fuck this little piece of shit. Who is he? Right. I'm glad you brought that up because that amazes me too with everything that Jimmy's done with his career. And that video, they hate Jimmy. You know, the, the they, fucking they conspiracy guys. They trash Jimmy. And the, and the Jesse fans, but they think it's me. They think it's Anthony. They, and then some I, will go, I, who is this uh, little bald fuck? I mean, it's going, brutal, going, actually. There's 800,000 people at one sh pop yeah. that doesn't know yeah, it's, Jim Norton? Yeah. It, that follows comedy? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, it is. So that's all the but, shit you think of. But if then, this special you know, is good, you're you're going to be cursed because then it's going to force you to get back on the road. Cause, yeah, but... Because people but, are going to want to like see the guy from the special now. Well, here's what I'm hoping it does. Just brings those people out. Bring Just brings... A little more. My people, though, mm -hmm. like, but I think I'm realizing, you know, my people don't don't uh, pay. Uh, <laughs> my people have kids and they can't <laughs> yeah. afford babysitters and ten dollar drinks. My my people and and the biggest comics in the world all have a people. Like, if you look at any comic who's a who, who's a big time seller, yeah, except for like Seinfeld, because he's Seinfeld, right? Uh, he doesn't just have all Jews come to see him. No, no. But I'm sure a lot of Jews come to see him. But uh, Larry the Cable Guy, sixty thousand rednecks. Rednecks. Ron, Ron White, sixty thousand mm -hmm. older rednecks. Mm -hmm. uh, little Kev, all black people. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Joe Coy, all Koreans. Who want to laugh? <laughs> and and Russell Peters, all Asians, like all Asians, Indian, you know, China, everybody goes to see Russell Peters. The biggest comics, and Dane Cook had all uh, college, -y, college young kids, white kids. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, well, who the fuck am I going for? <laughs> fuck it, who's my, who's the people that's gonna go? This Patrice is the guy, and and this girl at Comic Central goes, I think men. I go, yeah, but you'll never let that happen. You'll never let men galvanize to be an audience. Mm -hmm. But I'm not just for men. I'm for men with their women. Right. You know, so couples. I'm a couples guy. Yeah. I don't think couples that even comic. fucking. You're not, you're what not, does that do? You're not going to get the couples. <laughs> you're not going to get the couples. I mean, we. First dates? <laughs> I, was, I was at the taping and Ann saw it. I, you know, we got to slow down a little bit. I mean, the women enjoyed it, but that's going to be a tough sell long term. So you're, I think you're, I think you're sort of cursed because you're, you're, you have, uh, the ONA crowd, mm -hmm. which is a great comedy crowd, a great comedy crowd, but then you also have the black crowd, which is a great, you have a really diverse audience. So it's a little, of, shows it's I've a little, to. and black people are just finding out about me, by the way, in the last four years. Yeah. What the fuck is that know, about? What is that? I, I, because it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fair. So, yeah, yeah, okay. you know, people like to be, it's like, you know, little Kev is funny. Kev mm. is funny, but it's, it's so definitively, uh, black, but yeah. not, not black and cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Kevin is filling a void right but now. But you get the black. But cat was, I mean, niggas, man. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I mean, cat <laughs> was. <laughs> now, Chris Rock has a very interesting audience, man. Chris Rock has everybody. Yeah, right? yeah. And a lot of black people, but see, Chris Rock uh, snuck into black later too. He wasn't; he was a mixed guy. Well, oh well, yeah. Well, yeah, then he got black. He got black in '98 yeah. when he said, "Nick, I ain't afraid of black people. I'm afraid of niggas." Just when he did that, that yeah. pushed him. He forward. fucking Big that time. was it. Hey, what kind of black people you you got? Um, Chris Rocky, I got I got fair black people, man. Mm -hmm. Fair, but you don't got some of those. If uh, I say Obama's, you know, go ahead, sir. That's all right, God. Go ahead, you hit your arm, motherfucker. No, go ahead. No, I'm, go sorry. Ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's fine. I'll be forgetting. No, I was just black audiences, and mm -hmm. and and Chris Rock sort of has kind of the the I can't I can't describe it like a, a safer black audience. How would you? How would no, it? he has retired gangsters. Yeah, he has. He <laughs> so has what is black your people that? Uh, um, I think. Look, I had to get. Like to I didn't know there were levels of black audiences. Is what yeah, I'm I mean, at. look, when I first came to New York, I would I would go to Brooklyn and Queens and just get yelled at because mm. I would I would be. You weren't black enough. I would, yeah, but wow. I was black enough. I wasn't black enough for 
It's drones, though. They get used to a, to a they rhythm. They just want to hear, yeah, white, white man crazy, you know, though, that shit. But, it, but, and, and I'll say white people crazy, but I'll yeah, say yeah, it but, like, let's talk about, for real, white people crazy. Yeah. But it's like, white people, phones it. work. And black people, you know, white people, when they black move, people. and it's funny, look. Phones I, one, one, <laughs> black people, when they move, like, here's a classic that you've heard, I've heard six motherfuckers say. Um, black people, uh, when when white people move, they move in the daytime with a <laughs> truck and the right. or no when they go on vacation. Oh, vacation. White people go on vacation and go goodbye everybody. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> but here's the key to my house <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah. feed my fish or whatever. Billy, what's up, buddy? Hey, Bill. Come on, guys. So Bill Burr, what's up, bro? Burr. How are you? How there are you? he is. And this is the expert on nigger rooms right here. Bill got more <laughs> nigger room experience than I do. Like straight gangster room like that. Yeah. So, but but it'll go it'll go be like, oh, um, um, I um, uh, black when black people move out, we got to move. If we no when we vacation. When we got a vacation, we got to vacation. We got to leave at twelve midnight. The <laughs> motherfucker don't see us leaving. It's just, which is yeah, it's yeah. fine, but it's a rhythm. It's a way to be. It's and black people. Another thing white people do that's interesting is they they have their favorite jokes too. Right. Like you didn't do the one about the uh -huh. white people. If they see you last week and you say the same shit last week that you said this week, nigga. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, you lazy bastard. Motherfucker. Write something new. Say some new shit, nigga. Really? Like, it's, like the idea of art and bombing, and it's just not there. Yeah. But there was a few guys that were <laughs> experts at it. I'm going to tell you who's great. The greatest black room comic I've ever seen, too. Mike Epps and fucking Tracy Morgan. Yeah. The, the two greatest black room comics performers in the history of the planet that i've ever seen live <laughs> wow amazing but i'm getting them now because i did def jam i did a little this they get they coming now and it's a very specific but i just don't like people yelling at me <laughs> <laughs> how hilarious is that coming out of his mouth uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't like, I just i like people waiting their turn to talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, i don't want to i don't want to fucking like not why i'm working some shit out like yeah. you just sit there. White people will sit there and uh, take it and check it out. Yeah. Listen, we, we got to cut this short because we got an extremely busy day. But uh, we want to make sure people watch uh, Patrice's uh, special tomorrow, ten o'clock at Comedy Central. It's going to be awesome. I want to plug yeah. it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, no, we're going <laughs> to yeah. yeah. plug it all morning. Don't worry. Uh, Bill Burr joining <laughs> wanna, the program. I want to plug this strange plastic in the middle. <laughs> I, my, hit, my shit's not hard enough to open. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it should be really. It's pretty hard, hard to open. To open. <laughs> no, we got you to, should need something wait, besides your fingers. You need keys. Or... I need I need a razor blade. Yeah. You know, this shit is. What is this cheap plastic they use? This is recycled, motherfucker. Oh, and Patrice is on Fallon tonight. Very cool. Jimmy oh, that's Fallon right, tonight. That's right. Patrice O'Neill will be on there. No, we got to take a break because uh, Triple H is going to be here in like 15 minutes. Then we got Will William H Macy and Bill Burr just arrived. So we want to uh, reset so a little bit. This was February, motherfucker. You niggas don't care about shit. G I, we care. So this was. My, then we're overbooked today for some reason. We got way too many people coming in. A lot of white guys here. Today, so, but but uh, Comedy Central tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. <laughs> what bills? What's the name of the special, Patrice? <laughs> it's Elephant in the Room, and not because of my weight. <laughs> no, no, that's it. I wanted to call it 800 pound gorilla, but I didn't think anybody be able to <laughs> separate. Focus. They, they want focus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>